Hello there guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm still in shock. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. I'm drained. I'm absolutely drained. Incredible. It's finished 4-3. You know what, it, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of that Chelsea song. Um, Oh, what's that song? What's that song? We are the boys in royal blue. We are the pride of London. That song. There's a story about us being, I think it was 3-1 down and we came back to win 4-3. <laughs> I've got that playing in my head. <laughs> I've got that playing in my head. I don't know what to feel. I, I genuinely don't know what to feel. I feel like I've had my heart ripped out thrown into the thrown to the wolves um and then i've had a heart transplant that's taken i don't know 30 seconds to complete and now my heart is functioning as normal again that's what it feels like because the first 20 minutes where we got those two goals it was all going so beautifully and then we bottled it and we threw it away and then not just that, we come out for the second half and we looked worse, as usual. And we concede that third goal and then we're just looking dead, out of sorts. The usual, the usual story, especially following on from that Burnley game. And we are on course to absolutely throwing this game in the bin, much like we all expect it to. And then... 97 minutes and it's still 3-2 and there's one minute of stoppage time left and it's it's yeah it's a wrap it's a wrap we're about to lose 3-2 and not just lose but it was shambolic it was an utter shambles up until that point <laughs> up until that point and then there's the penalty now that penalty we got, you know what, look, I've got to be honest. I think that win came from the heavens. God was on our side today. It's as simple as that. God was on our side. Because, listen, that penalty was so, so, so fortunate for us. And so, so, so unfortunate for Dallow. Because he's running behind Madueke and you can see that his foot clips onto the back of Madueke's foot. And he's going down and that brings Madueke down and it's a penalty. It is a penalty. And by the letter of the law, you can't turn against that. It is a penalty. It's not about how it's happened. Madueke was brought down. It's a pen. But you, Dallo, in that moment, to, to get United to win with seconds remaining, and that penalty is given. And Cole Palmer steps up again for his second penalty of the night and scores it. And one more action afterwards, goes out for a corner, taken quick, Palmer runs inside, and you can tell he just hits it. He just hits it. And this is why I say sometimes when you're on the edge of the box and you've got an option to just hit, there's an avenue there, there's no one to really pass to, just hit it. Because things like that happen. Deflection off McTominay's uh, shoulder or back or whatever it was. And it goes in to make it 4-3 with the last kick of the game. Incredible. 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 And I genuinely, I, I, like I said on the watch long, I don't know how to feel because it was, it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. And I feel like that still cannot be ignored. But the reason why we are football fans it's for those moments at the end. It's for a moment like that. That is why we love this game. Um, and that is why we, we, we watch week in, week out. Because it's that unpredictability. And it's that, it's that you never know what's going to happen sort of thing. That keeps us glued with the anticipation to not miss the moment. And that was exactly what happened. And it happened to us. <laughs> it happened to us. Now, I've got to be real. And I've got to try and be logical whilst I'm still 
feeling adrenaline literally running through my body right now as I'm giving you this review. I, I, I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. I did, you could, you could have bet everything that you have that there was no way that there was going to be two goals in the 98th minute to get Chelsea to win after we were 3-2 down coming into the 97th minute. There was just no way. There was just no way. With the way that the game was going, the performance was dreadful. Can we just... And not just the performance. The, the, if it stayed 3-2, you wouldn't have been surprised. No one would have been shocked. I, everyone and their mother, even I'm sure Man United fans were like, yeah, we've got this. It's, it's, it's. We didn't score from, when was it? The 20th minute or the 17th minute? When did we score the second goal? Um, if I'm going to try and... Let's try and bring this up. Um, the 19th minute, we scored the second goal, the penalty, Cole Palmer. We didn't score again from that point up until the very end. We were 3-2 down. You just knew the way that whole, that whole second half was abysmal, by the way. Abysmal. No one would have said United are losing this. I wouldn't have put it past Chelsea to get an equaliser. Like when that penalty came, it's not been the first time this season that we've got a last gasp equaliser. We've seen it with Conor Gallagher. We've seen it with Chukameka, if I'm not mistaken. We've even seen it when Madueke got that fourth goal the other night. Uh, it's it's that happens. You can you can you wouldn't be too shocked that like even with a bad performance um, and not looking like we're going to get anything, that we get an equaliser. But to then say that we're going to, after the penalty, I thought it was done. I was like, yeah, 3-3, free, free, okay, cool, we're taking a point. Um, it's not good enough. It's still not good enough, don't get me wrong, but we're taking a point. We, we've taken three. <laughs> How has this happened? I don't know, I don't know. Actually, actually, no. You know what? Credit needs to be given. I do know how it's happened. We do know how it's happened. Cole Palmer. <sighs> You see how last season we were saying if we didn't have Thomas Tuchel's 10 points of the start of the season, we'd be getting relegated. <laughs> or we'd be in the relegation like battle till the end. We would have been. If it wasn't for the 10 points that we got at the start of the season, yeah? Or was it 10 points for the first... Yeah, 10 points, 10 points. Well, I think for this season, if it wasn't for Cole Palmer, we'd be screwed. Cole Palmer's the only one that is performing to the levels required at this club properly, consistently. He's the only one. And he's bailing us out in these ways. It's just insane. It's just insane. And today he's ended up with a hat-trick. Two penalties, don't get me wrong, but it's not even that. It is a hat-trick because he had two penalties, but then at the very last kick of the game, he's the one that took the initiative on the edge of the box, hit it and got us the winner. Cole Palmer, man. Cole Palmer. It's just... If it was up to me, if there was a way, if it was possible, I'd say, yo, give it to Cole Palmer for the rest of the season. Just let him go and do everything. Just forget the rest of us. F like, go out yourself, by yourself, one man team. You'll get the result, mate. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. Cole Palmer, brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Um, everyone else... I'm sorry, but we can absolutely acknowledge that today was, was, was a shambles. An absolute shambles. And we should count ourselves so lucky that we've walked away with three points. I, uh, it's incredible how this has happened. And once again, I have to be... But this time, this time, this time I'm actually saying it. Pochettino was bailed out tonight properly. Like the previous times, some people would say, oh, he's been bailed out. Nah. Tonight, tonight, we all knew that even the club was relying on a result tonight. Like, tonight was it. If we would have lost tonight, I think, I actually think action might have been taken. I actually think that this whole talk of going to the end of the season, there was a thing about the Burnley game and the United game to see where we end up that is going to define, like, where we're going for the rest of the season in terms of probability and in terms of mathematics, if we're looking at the points. We've ended up with three points. And it's Cole Palmer. That's it. Cole Palmer has actually bailed Pochettino out tonight. Tonight has been the real bailing out. Because I even said it on the watch long. 
3-2 down, coming to the end of the game, 90th minute, 91, 92, 93, I'm like, yo, Pochettino, it's over. It's over, mate. I'm sorry, it's finished. Despite I know that it's not all him, I know it's not all his fault, it's not completely his fault, people expect just change Pochettino, it's all going to be all right. It's not. There are significant issues that we are so blatantly in our faces, it's crazy. And like I said, if it wasn't for that Cole Palmer, it would be ruined. So fair play to Cole Palmer. But that has absolutely bailed Pochettino out tonight because even before the game, we were hearing about Pochettino giving that speech at the training ground and, and how tonight, you know, it, 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 the mentality needs to be there and the players have the pressure and they need to go and get the, the, the result. They have to. They have to, you know? We didn't play like we did. But Cole Palmer got it. That's the reality. Chelsea, as a whole, didn't get the three points tonight. Cole Palmer got the three points tonight. That's the reality. So Cole Palmer's bailed Pochettino out properly tonight. 100%. Tonight has been the real bailing out. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I'm still in shock. I am still in shock. And um, I, I don't have anything else to say. I actually don't have anything else to say. Um... I have nothing to say. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I'm going to end it there. I've got nothing else to say. There's nothing else I can possibly say. I'm just going to wait for the adrenaline to calm down. And, and, just, uh, and then we go again tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Thank you all so much. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts down below on, on, this, on this crazy saga. And today's unbelievable end. That was mad. That was actually mad. Let me know, let me know your thoughts. Much appreciated. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good one, people. Have a good night. I need to sleep. I'm drained. Um, I'm, this this club has, this club has ruined me <laughs> on every level. It's ruined me. So um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, people. Have a good night. Sleep well, and see you tomorrow. Take care and peace.